on, lady. Come on. She's crapped on the rip. <laughs> you know, I, I seem to recall something similar to this in Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> he got stuck in rabbit's hole. Oh, no wonder they banned it from Bent Library. <laughs> Well, the nation's public libraries say they're neglected, underhanded... Oh! <laughs> Let's go back now to that Oxford-Watford game. Tony Gubb has got news of it. Tony, you're on the phone. <laughs> Come on, Tony, just when we need you. Hold on. A minute ago, you were saying you wished there were more like me. You shook my hand. Yes, but at the time, I didn't know you had created a pub public distress. <laughs> a minute ago, you were saying you wished there were more like me. You shook my hand. Yes, but at the time, I didn't know you had created a public dis disturbance with personal... <laughs> yes, but at the time, I didn't know you created a public disperse... <laughs> Anything you say, my little estate registered scrumptious. I want nothing to diminish your appreciation of this moment. In future, when you come home, you will receive the grocer's equivalent of the 21 Sun Galoo. I've said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! My Darrell was a successful businessman. He had no need to turn to crime. He was voted Eastern County's Conservatory Erection of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Could we change the subject, please? <coughs> Ralph is highly thought of in financial circles. I believe he's chasing a knighthood. And what's <laughs> more? <laughs> Sorry. Ooar, ooar. Come one, come all, each lass and her mate. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh-ah, ooh -ar. Come one, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say for? It's like tin position. You're going to go. Take four. ooh Come one, come all. Each lass and her mate. <laughs> <We're> Yeah, Chief Superintendent Clark, I've just been, I've just been promoted. <laughs> <laughs> so, although we commemorate the occasion each year, it doesn't seem as though we know an awful lot about why we do. Well, here's a potted history. The gunpowder plot was all about... What was it all about? <laughs> oh, come on, shall we? Means well. Means well? Oh, yeah. I'm sure every adoption agency in the country would jump at the chance of having us two as parents. Him doing an armed stretch for robbery. <laughs> well, there we are. We've had two British wins, one for Ireland and now one for Germany. And Otto Shaver, <laughs> the first time that you've jumped here. Oh, sorry. My name is Stephen. Otto is the name of my heart. <laughs> Talk to any actor. They always say, after they've taken your order, that the most difficult thing about this acting game is remembering the names of the other characters. It's, it's that awful, alas, poor whoever he was, I knew him well, moment. <laughs> and it's not just actors who suffer from it. Every time my agent sees me, she always says, oh, wait a minute, I know the face. <laughs> and here are a few people who should know better, indulging in the noble art of name dropping. I am not really Otto Flick of the Gestapo. I am, in fact, a member of the British Intelligence Service. My real name is Basil... I've forgotten my real name. <laughs> oh, oh! I'm sorry, am I early? No, dear. I wanted you to come early, to arrive before Mrs. whatever her name is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love. Half price OAP lunch is a Monday and Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, 
To what do we owe this pleasure? Sharon's off out. No, oh, I'm Sharon. You're Sharon, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Go. Find me in the mortuary of Monsieur Alphonse, the undertaker, posing for a statue of me, the hero of the resistance. With any luck, it will not be long before the Germans are defeated. Michel of the resistance has... <laughs> uh, I am sorry, I am lost for words. <laughs> You find me in the mortuary of much... No, you don't. No. <laughs> yes, you do, actually. Yes, you do. <laughs> Mac and Rowley, Connors leads, two games to one. Many, many countries wanted it, and therefore the best that Britain was ever going to be able to get was some form of opt-out. Now, what Mr. Major and uh, Mr. Mr. Um, in the <laughs> Chancellor of the Exchequer's name seems to me to escape me in the freezing cold. And now, after that galaxy of sports superstars, award-winning journalists and much-loved thespians, here's a fellow you've never seen before, and will almost certainly never see again. He's one of the great army of bit part players and extras whose big chance for stardom comes perhaps only once in a lifetime. Come at the hour. Come at the postman. Action. Sorry, I put the brakes on. <laughs> from our friend Postman Pratt and the lesson is never underestimate anyone's capacity for making a hash of things. You don't have to be a star to ruin the show. All you need to do is get yourself in front of the cameras and let nature take its course. And there's Henry. That's the UCD mascot and Shamrock Rovers bring their little mascot as well. Henry incidentally belongs to Jerry O'Dwyer. <laughs> How traumatic was the whole event? Very traumatic. It was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> Come on, now, back at him. Straight face, think of no presents. Because of the... <laughs> you know? So take the wipe off, wipe the smile off your face. Well, go on then, you go in there. Go on. You're gonna no, giggle. I'll, oh, well, I'll, I'll tell you now. I'll you giggle go. again, you're out. Okay, I'll 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 Can you give us a formal introduction here? Yes, this is Haley. Haley, hi. hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she thinks it's an ice cream. Despite its idyllic and somewhat isolated situation, the trout farm does suffer that scourge of urban. <laughs> And this is the beast that gives a spite. Oh. <laughs> I'd better put her in her basket. I think you'd better put her on the pill, Mrs. Sir. <laughs> you feed all down my throat. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done to uh, William and to you, Rusty. You're brilliant. Uh, when did he start to sort of ride your bike? 
Uh, well, I used to take him on, on the piggyback to the shops and stuff. And one day I put him on my back and his feet slid down to the back of the seat, you know. <laughs> and the crossbar, uh, I just put him there and he stayed there, really, you know. Just just simply stayed there. It's great. He seems to enjoy it. I mean, does he enjoy it? Do you oh, think? Yeah, I spoke to the ASPCA and he said if he didn't like it, he'd jump off. <laughs>